The Jedwood Home Alone experiment has hit the buffers. They should be preparing for their first night alone. One snag. Mum's turned up. She stayed for dinner and she's still there. I don't mind doing the tidying. I know that I need it here just to keep a check. You know that they come off the, their Twitter and, and basically settle down for the night. So I know they're 18, but they, they need the sleep. I know that they're actually overtired, you know, at this stage. I'm only having half three hours, so I've decided, yeah, I would, I would stop over with them. And... Uh, Hopefully they will, you know, hopefully they will get a good night's sleep and uh, then um, I'll be able to pop off, you know, early in the morning. Maybe I just don't want them to be on their own as yet. If I admit it, I suppose I have to admit that, yeah. So that's where the brave challenge for the boys to spend a night alone ended. Well, lads, I think it's time. You're going to have to... Are you going to get ready for bed? I want to go to bed. Come on, me. Do you want me to help you? Come on, do you need to bring it with you? Sure, it'll work inside. Okay. Oh, God, that's very dangerous. OK. And don't really be going on to that Twitter. I'm sure the fans will be OK tonight now without hearing from you. It is half ten nearly at this stage. So I'll be back in later to see if you've settled. OK? Yeah. What was the point of that last day leaving moving out? They're, like, moving in. Get out of the house. Get them out. <laughs> Could this be any less rock and roll? But Edwards found a silver lining. If a robber came in, they won't kill us first. Good night, Edward. Good night, John. A new day. A sparkling apartment. Mum's gone and surrogate mum, Liam, is back. Why don't you just wear something from the new video? Because that's, like, what is the most recent thing that you've done. Yeah, I don't want something that everyone else has. He's unimpressed by the news that the boys haven't lifted a finger. I think I was surprised when I found out Susanna had stayed and a little bit disappointed as well because I really feel that the boys would have gained so much more from it if they had a spent the night here on their own. I feel like a mom, she does makes a big deal about a lot of different things, but she's like, and then I realised like, that she's only like trying to care about me now and make sure that like, she, she's our mom. She wants us to make sure that we're looking after herself. Nothing happened to us because to her, we're still her babies. But the demands of a pop star don't go away. And Jed would crack on with preparing for their tour. Edward's injured knee is causing big problems. Normally, right now, okay, no, listen, my hair, no, me. I'm talking, okay, no, let me talk. basically, right now we're like in rehearsal, okay, like all the drama about like my knee and everything, and everyone's like thinking I'm gonna like pull out, and basically my knee's like so painful right now, I need to like get like a like, painkiller and do like loads of exercise, so basically I just need to like get to stay focused, and John's gonna do all the work. But let me tell you now, there are prices to fame, all right. Hi guys, it's Louis. Remember me? Manager and mentor Louis Walsh pops by to give some support and advice. How's the leg? I'm more importantly, no. huh? they go crazy. They're okay, we're going to do this. He's still on tour and he's hurt his leg. The show must go on. The show must go on. Professional. That's well, all about, I think about the, all the fans wanting to come and see it and he's still going on stage. He's got a brace on right now. Cool. It's all about communication with the fans. That's why touring is so important. And these kids are so young. I want to see how they progress from the last tour. Because I see them making progress. A lot of people probably can't, but I actually can. Louis always champion the lads. When you showed up for X Factor, you hadn't done gigs like everybody else. No. You, you were learning your business. Yeah. You were learning your craft in public. And that's why you were not as good as a lot of people thought you were going to be. But you're getting better. I feel like right now, you know, we're, in, we're, in, we're in boot camp, we're in training right now to get better and better. And like, these type of venues are playing like 3,000, 2,000 people. But I feel like it's really, really intimate. It's cool that our fans are all so close. Lou, do you have any advice for us for our, our second tour? I think about it's our second time around. Do you have any advice for us? The best advice I could ever give you two guys is just to be yourselves and have fun. The energy at all your gigs is so incredible. And that comes from you guys. And you're having a great time. And your fans are back. You've sold out again, guys. It's incredible. Now, what other act from X Factor has even had a tour? You're on your I third know. tour. <laughs> you know, then we're doing our UK tour. We're working, working, working. And the Pops Vengali thinks the sky's the limit. Every day, my phone is just full of people looking for Jedward. I'm getting interview requests all over the world now, you know. I think they can go to America. I think this is just a start. <laughs> Fuck.
And after rehearsals, it's back to earth with a bang. And a smelly one at that. We've actually no clothes to wear. All the clothes here? are so dirty. Like, shirts that are meant to be white are, like, brown. Dad's plumbed in the washing machine, so there's no excuse. Everything needs to be washed. Like, even the clothes are wearing. Let's go into the room. It's dirty clothes. Get our pants and our socks and... Hold on, look for dirty clothes. Get that sock, that dirty sock over there. It needs to be washed. I know, but they're only socks. And, like, towels need to be washed. You know, clean towels. These aren't, like, gr granny pants, are they? No, granny pants are big. But they're real small pants. They're the pants I wear. Or they're just shrunk. They're like the type of pants that me and John wear on stage because it keeps everything together. Do I keep my trousers off? I actually feel, I feel like I'm on the beach or something. I need to sore. Can you pull it off me? Edward's legs got him out of the chores again. I can see my beautiful legs. Oh my god! That leg, oh, ew, ew. It's all swelled up. It's all messed up. Like, look how beautiful this leg looks. Washing done, and now they've got their toughest challenge yet. I've cooked dinner for four people. And they're important people, too. Your record company executives, they're very important people. They have to host a dinner party. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mm. But so far, the lads' culinary efforts have been downright shocking. The ground bread's burnt as well. <laughs> Edward's not one to be deterred. He's pushing the boat out with the menu. Our starters are going to be carrots and salad with, with sushi. And then we're going to have, um, what, what else are we having, John? Stop eating them. We're going to have um, pea and mint soup. Then the main course is going to be beef burgers, which our granny used to make. So that's how we learned how to make them. Oh my god, my thing's gone, John and John. What's with a laptop? Oh crap, the laptop. Oh my god, it's leaking, it's leaking, it's moving, stop. They're not like, like a record label, like the big people. Like these guys are probably like dying, like the best people. And then me and John are like, I'm carrying a towel cooking for them. Right now I have sunglasses on because I'm, I'm going to start cutting those onions there. I don't want, I don't want the onions to get in my eyes because I'll start crying. Oh my god, look at it, look. Ooh, it's a water slide. It's just like watching Jamie and Gordon at work. <laughs> well, kind of. God, none of us not. The boys have actually bought the ingredients. They're actually attempting to cook. Mmm, so good. Well, apart from the supermarket, bought sushi. Because we had such like a bad incident with the sushi last time, that we decided to like just buy it this time. Look at dodgy. It's brown rice. Crap. Oh my god, John. Oh my god, there's gonna be people coming. Go, 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 how are you? Coming, Amy. Are you okay? Hey. Hey, Jill. Good. Good. Hi. Okay. Hi. Yeah, we have a happy swimming gift for you guys. It's a signed Bon Jovi guitar. Hi. So cool. So you guys. A proper rock star party. Yeah. There you go. There you, go. you guys play. So. Like savage. Oh my God, John. Some of Bon Jovi. Some of all of like yeah. everyone. John so Bon Jovi. So that's the cool thing about like you guys, because like you guys like get to meet all these famous people. I got stuff from me and John. Well, there you go. You guys are famous, mate. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. The launch team's been hard at it promoting their first album. Look at this. Oh, wow. That's so good. That's it? Oh my god. That's yeah? So yeah? So that's across all the gazettes. All as well. the gazettes. So that's out for a whole week. That's so good. Okay. Good job, everyone. Guys, okay, we're going to get you guys something okay, special, okay? This is just dinner. Okay. <laughs> dinner's a pretty good start. Dinner, yeah, no, we're, so, we're gonna we'll accept dinner, no problem. Attempt at making dinner. For the dips as well. I'm looking forward to it. So far, so good. The teetotal twins have even remembered to get some wine in for their guests. Red wine is in the fridge. 
Okay. That's a good start. Wow. wow. Made by us. Really? Didn't they buy that from the supermarket? So you sell bottles and all along with that. You know yeah. <laughs> Some made of sushi. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. Just don't, don't take just don't take it right. Thank you very much. This, no this is lovely. No, it's really hot. Oh. Ah, it's a big moment in soup history. It looks really well presented. What will the team make of Jedward's homemade minty pea ensemble? Uh, I'll try a little bit, please. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's good. It's warm. Mm, mm, mm. It might be slightly <laughs> over minty. <laughs> what are you on about? It's good. It's got a slight tinge of toothpaste off it. There's no toothpaste in my mint soup. It actually does taste like mint toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Edward is totally owning that kitchen. It's going to be good, but right now I'm really focused on getting the main course out because I don't want anyone getting bored. Don't do anything. I'm doing okay. Can you go away? Can you go to the table? They have genuinely done everything themselves. The table was set, all the food was cooked, everything. Oh, good on them. Wow. So, this is what it is, okay? It's meant to be ladies first, John. Oh, my gosh, really she's good. amazing. A tower of chips. Well, Liam is your surrogate mum, I suppose. Looks good. The most amazing meal you're going to have ever. Oh, it smells good. Is he going to sit down and join us? But Jedward are sticking to their own niche diet, which largely consists of sweet corn with tuna, cereal, smoothies, and... Looks good. Thank you. Oh, going to be the bowl of jelly beans. Really? Yeah, it's a kid's dream. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all digging in? Bon appetit. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> I just love sweet corn with tuna because it like adds different elements. The tuna's like tea, and the sweet corn's like the sugar. But the only I don't like about sweet corn is that it gets caught in your teeth, and then you like have yellow teeth. We can like have tuna, a can of tuna, and our cat can have a can of tuna. It means like that makes us closer to our cat. It's kind of weird. It's like this huge fish, and now she's like trapped in a can. Coming up. We love so much. It's the moment of truth as Planet Jedwood hits the shelves. There's a certain Jed mania going on. If I have Britney Spears call you guys, will you tattoo her name? And the boys meet Vanilla Ice and get a step closer to Britney. You can't put Britney Spears in your armpit. Oh, that's my go-to. 